Thousands have gathered in Memphis for the 50th anniversary of the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. King was shot and killed as he stood on the balcony of the Lorraine Motel in Memphis on April 4th, 1968. Now, Fox 5's Deidre Dukes was the only reporter to travel with Dr. King's daughter, Bernice King. They traveled to Memphis this afternoon, and Deidre has her story. I interviewed Bernice King Monday afternoon as we traveled to Memphis for the first leg of her emotional journey. It's, it's emotional for me, um, but I'm trying not to let it overwhelm me so that I can function. A wave of emotion came over Dr. Bernice King as she made her way through TSA at Hartsville-Jackson for the trip to Memphis. And I think I said, um, you know, I didn't get an opportunity to go 50 years ago, and then I broke down crying. Um, didn't, I didn't know it was coming. 50 years ago, a then five-year-old Bernice was left behind as her mother and three older siblings traveled to Memphis just days after Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. On April 8th, 1968, my mom came to Memphis to lead the march that my father would have led, which was the day before the funeral. And she brought the three older children, and I got left in Atlanta. Monday afternoon, she boarded a Delta charter flight, joined by dozens of religious and civil rights leaders for the pilgrimage to Memphis. She toured the Lorraine Motel, where her father was shot and killed that fateful day in April of 68, as he stood on the hotel balcony. It's, it's interesting to be able to have these experiences not knowing my father, uh, but kind of sensing the presence of his spirit. So there's that connection. Yeah. Um, I do feel a connection to his spirit and uh, to what he was trying to do. Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News.